ordinary form. The magical form of germination. Our respected teacher had asked us to prepare this pot, and this is the progress of this pot till today. First, I placed cotton inside the pot. Then I put some black chickpea seeds and an onion into this pot. I poured some water into this pot, but with precaution. Do not only fill this pot with water, we just need it to wet the cotton. Then I place this pot into sunlight and alohomora. The magic happens. Seeds and bulb started growing. For growing a seed, we need water, air, warmth and enough space. If the seeds have all these things, then only it will grow. The complete process of seed germination is carried in this following step. The seed coat splits. A tiny root grows downwards and shoot grows upwards. This produces a seedling of a plant which ultimately grows into a new plant. flower. The flower produces fruits and fruits have seeds in them. Either by nature or man-made process, these seeds are sown into the ground. Again, and that's how a new plant was born. Watching these seeds grow was an amazing experience and feeling. By saying this, I remember a quote. Trees is never ever wasted. This seed germination experiment gives us the opportunity to see close how a seed grows and what actually underneath the ground. Really, I love checking the process day by day. In this activity, I have also learned that seeds are just like humans because they need water, food, sun. And they also need suitable conditions to grow and bloom, just like we all humans need. I would love to conclude my presentation with a quotation. Teachers plant the seed of knowledge that grows forever. Thank you and always remember, somehow, somewhere, a tiny seed is waiting to grow into a magic.